Yeah, hi guys. Uh, just pulled over for a little bit. Um, a lot of traffic on the freeway today. Uh, so just wanted to let it kind of clear up and um, wanted to talk to you guys about what I'm smoking today. Uh, really good tobacco. Uh, but first I wanted to show you something else. Uh, got a package here. Um, a few weeks ago, um, my friend uh, Giannis in Slovenia and I did a tobacco trade. Um, and he sent me a few things I just wanted to show you. Um, sent me a couple of little samples, uh, a little Mosac, um, and a Peterson. Uh, yeah, Christmas. Mm. So I'm looking forward to trying those. But uh, what the package was really meant for uh, was a couple in interesting uh, tobaccos um, from Kiel, from Mosek. Um, one of them, uh, the first, I already did, um, you may have seen on my channel, um, I think a few months ago, um, I already did a review on Tom's Twist. Um, so he sent me a, um, I had a couple of samples, but he sent me an entire, um, I guess, rope um, of the Tom's Twist. Let me show you. Uh, I just had samples before. Um, but this. This is what an entire twist looks like. So I just wanted to show you that, just in case you're interested in seeing that. Uh, yeah, it looks like something you'd clean up uh, after your dog went somewhere they weren't supposed to. But smells delicious. Um, this is pretty strong stuff. Uh, all gnarled and twisted up. Fermented, dark, rich, really good stuff. So, like I said, I did a video, mm, I think a few months ago, on this stuff. So you can check that out if you like. But I'm glad to have a whole uh, rope length of that. So, and the other one, I've had a few samples of this as well from Mozak. And it's Misha's cake. And let me show you what the cake looks like. This is a. This is the whole cake. And that's about the size of it. It's really good. A uh, really good press cake of uh, Virginia's um, with a little bit of rum casing. So um, I've had I've had this quite a few times already. Like I said, um, from samples. Uh, but I'm gonna have some more of this and uh, perhaps do um, a short review, a quick review on that uh, sometime uh, in the future. Let's see. Um, but yeah, really excited to have 100 grams of that too uh, to try. So um, I wanted to show you what I'm smoking uh, today. I think it's a pretty good tobacco. Uh, really like the Peterson stuff. Uh, and I picked this up uh, a few weeks ago. Um, it's a Peterson uh, Luxury Blend. Hope you can see that, the tin there. It says, um, a smooth and exquisite blend of three different Virginias, Cavendish and Burley, 
with a fabulous aroma of orange, honey, and a touch of vanilla. Uh, so to me, this tobacco is really uh, about the Virginia. Um, I think just because it's it's so sweet, uh, there's so much sweetness involved. Um, but it's not uh, it's not one of those aromatics that are really overly sweet and um, overpower the flavors of the natural tobaccos. It may seem like that because because there's so much, you know, they talk about vanilla and honey and orange. And I think all of those are, are very uh, subtle uh, parts to this uh, blend. Um, I think really what comes forward, I think, is are the, the good flavors of the Virginias. So if, if you really don't like aromatics, uh, I don't think you have to be too afraid of this blend. Or, I mean, if aromatics are not your your favorite and you want to try an aromatic this is not going to be one that um, I think you'd be afraid of trying let me show you the tobacco uh, I always forget to show uh, my pipes I'm smoking um, so let me show you this this is a, a brebia pipe uh, with a silver piece uh, has that really um, deep rustication that's uh, typical of a lot of the the Italian pipes um, like Brebbia and Caminato and Costello and those so it smokes well really good pipe mm. So let me show you this tobacco. There's nothing really interesting about the cut. It's um, kind of a, a typical ribbon ribbon cut uh, from Peterson. Let me show you that real quick. Hopefully you can see that. Hopefully it'll focus. So it's kind of a, a mid-range um, of colors. Uh, there are a few lights in there and a few darks, but it's mostly kind of a medium, medium brown color to it. And when I smell it, uh, I really get uh, apricot uh, fruit type of a smell, a sweetness. Um, and I think that I think that's a kind of a mixture between the vanilla and um, the honey flavor that they say that they put on it. Um, but to me, it stands out more of a yeah, more of a an apricot type swell smell. And I think that has to do with the strength of the Virginias in there. Uh, it's very it, to me, it's a very much a Virginia uh, blend. Um, so. But a really good aromatic. It's not not harsh at all. Uh, doesn't bite you. Um, I think even if you go pretty strong on it, um, I haven't seen any tendency um, for it to bite or to get harsh in any way. Um, so I think it's a, a really good quality um, Virginia base aromatic uh, with just a touch of the Cavendish um, and uh, just you know a light casing uh, to add to add to the sweetness of the Virginias. Um, uh, I can't detect um, too much orange or too much vanilla in it. I just get kind of a, a, a sweet fruitiness um, when I smoke it. Um, yeah, so I think that's about all I can say about it. But it just, uh, the sweetness doesn't go away and it doesn't get harsh uh, as you smoke down through the bowl. And that's what I really appreciate about a, a lot of these Peterson blends, um, especially the, the aromatics, because you know, as we know, aromatics can tend to um, get harsh or hot or 
goopy, you know, those kind of things. And this one does not do that. So this one's just, a, to me, a, a really a sweet, flavorful, uh, tasteful, uh, easy to smoke aromatic. So that's it, guys. I didn't want to go on too long about this, but uh, I'm going to get back on the freeway and uh, see if I can get home and hopefully the traffic is um, not too bad. So you guys take care and um, hope you guys are enjoying your pipes um, and enjoying some time to relax, uh, whatever you're doing, and hopefully you're not stuck in traffic. So take care. Thank you.